Okay, this is my lovely assistant. I know, my hair. Who is like, oh, my hair is messed up. She's gonna whine about it, but it's okay. Babe, my hair is messed up. She's gonna be holding the camera here in a little bit. Um, this video is all about the Banshee. I have another video for the Lager TRX 500 updates. But as you can see, this is how not to do a wiring on your Banshee. And also one of the things to inspect when you're buying a used bike because this is like a child that did it. Okay, now I'm going to hand it back to my wife and we're going to take some stingers off. It'll stay on. You just have to point. The screen will go off on the back. You just tap it and it comes back. Okay, so I'm going to take off the silencer. CPI is actually in pretty good shape. Bike suffered from a lack of maintenance. Oh, check that out. That's not a missing screw. That's a broken off tap in the silencer. Again, check the stuff before you buy it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Sometimes you get lucky and you know, a torch will fit. Not that you should, but sometimes. The guy I bought this from said he packed the silencers with steel wool, which is something that it makes the bike loud and it's kind of annoying to be honest. It's not something I would do. Somewhere I set down my metric Allen's. I'm just retarded right now. Can't find them. Box of parts. That's the air box for the Raptor. We broke the tab off. Still waiting on the subframe. They're back ordered. We're supposed to have it this month, but looks like we're not gonna. Got some packing material for the silencers. Some other various parts in there. Arbor Freight's finest. That's just going to round out. I don't know how tight this guy put these on here, but... Wow!
That's a problem. Maybe we could take it apart from the other side. You can see this one was completely backed out. That's why you should always use Loctite on stuff like this. High temperature Loctite on this one. Got some kind of weird silicone or something on it. Maybe they just put grease on there because they're bad at life. I don't know. As you can see, that is some very garbage. And you can see what it did to the inside right there. This thing was probably running very rich on oil. Ran great, but a lot of, a lot of carbon build up there. You can just grab a pick and get that out of there. You gotta have a set of these, especially the long ones. I call them booger pickers, but it's just a pick. I'm doing some of the trash. You can see the core in there. Gonna get all cleaned up. Wait, how much? How much money did this guy spend in steel wool? <laughs> that is a lot of Brillo pads. I think it was. 14 bucks a piece for the sound, for the stuffing for the silencers. A much better value than whatever they were doing here. That's all nasty and bloody in there. I'm gonna polish this up as best I can. You've seen some of the other polishing stuff, but it, uh, this is nasty. So, bike's a work in progress. As you can see, the side case is still off. That's gonna, all that stuff is gonna be clean before it goes back in. I know it's all dusty and nasty right now, but. Uh, it will all be addressed. How do you break a tap off an aluminum talent? I've got the swing arm powder. Got some new goodies coming for the rear end. Uh, I don't have a new set of hubs because they're quite expensive and I'm not there yet. Been spending a lot of money chasing down stuff to kind of build out the shop, chasing down tools. But there's that wiring harness is that is totally, totally gross. Probably gonna get one from South Texas Banshees or take that one apart and fix it myself. I don't know what they got going on with this light mount. It's it's kind of gross. This grab bar will come off. Get all cleaned up and polished. See, they cut the, they even cut the mounts on this grab bar off that reinforce the fenders. I don't know if he rolled it at one time. The frame looks like really straight. And just 
messed up the fender or he wanted to have a drag racer look or something, but it kind of looks bad. So we'll fix everything we can and hopefully she'll be a pretty badass bike with that 521 in her. That's all I got for the Banshee for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Yes, for